think Tanushi Pandey joining us live now from Joshima. She's tracking all the action for you there. Tanushi, how bad is the situation currently in Joshima? And is there a need to LF people? Take us through the action plan that's been put in place. Well, Parmeshwar, the situation on the ground is pretty bad because what we saw yesterday, almost all the houses have developed major uh, massive cracks and massive fissures and even the hotels, one of the hotels we saw was actually leaning onto a different hotel. It can break down, it can collapse, sink at any point of time. Yesterday in front of our eyes, uh, a temple at Singhar uh, just completely collapsed. It was, it developed cracks uh, last week and that is uh, when uh, it was abandoned by the people and last Last night it collapsed. It has actually created a fear of uncertainty, and uh, you know, of uh, a fear, basically, uh, created a sense of fear of in amongst people of not just losing their life or not just losing their houses, but also losing their lives. Most of the people we spoke to had actually had to spend the chilly nights. And you know, Parmeshwar, all of us know that uh, what kind of uh, what kind of brutal cold uh, Joshimat experiences the temperature, the mercury actually drops to minus uh, in the midnight. And in this kind of a situation, in this kind of a brutal cold. Many families are living on the streets because they are very, very, uh, you know, scared as to when the house can actually come down because all the houses have major, uh, major cracks and major fissures. Now, what we are learning at this point of time is that Chief Minister is expected to come tomorrow at in uh, in the noon. He is going to take the stock of the situation himself. A team of scientists and experts have been stationed here in Joshimat who will be conducting a house to house survey as to check how many people actually need uh, urgent evacuation and how can how many families can. And still uh, wait in Joshi Mart. Other than that, a team of NDRF has been put, uh, deployed by the Chief Minister of Uttarakhand and all the developmental projects, including the NTPC plan, the Chardham project, the Badrinath master plan, all have been stopped uh, till uh, for, the, for the time being, till further orders. In fact, the route uh, which goes from here to Auli, which is a hill station which sees a heavy footfall during uh, 15 January because that's one when, when it experiences snow, the route has actually been closed for the time being until further order. So these are some of uh, the restrictions which have been put. Let's not forget that this is a zone 5 seismic zone which is highly prone to earthquake. Other than that, it also connects Hemkun Sahib and Badrina. Though right now it's off season, but uh, yeah, only for, uh, you know, only for precautionary base, the, some of the routes have been closed. Uh, so right now, the government is saying that they are keeping a check, but at least on the ground, it looks like that they were not even prepared for this kind of a disaster. And, you know, the kind of, the, you know, permission the kind of cracks and fissures we have seen from a naked eye uh, on, on almost all the major roads, all major, all the houses, all major hotels. It's absolutely unprecedented. And if the government doesn't step in right now, doesn't do anything to evacuate, people and ensure that uh, you know the the, the cracks are uh, basically to put things back to normal the situation can actually go worse on the ground because uh, even people are saying that Joshi Mutt is sinking Joshi Mutt is breaking down in front of uh, the government's eyes and they are not doing anything and they are saying that land subsidence due to the NTPC plant is the main reason why this kind of a uh, you know cracks are developing on the ground because it's a very sensitive zone it's a fragile area it is a zone 5 seismic zone so you cannot actually, uh, you know, do uh, get any big machines or equipments to this particular land. Otherwise, uh, there is a there is a fear of a earthquake. And the people have been saying that there have been big, massive blasts under the tunnel of NTPC. And NTPC plant is just about 500 meters from Joshimat. And that is the reason why many, uh, most of the houses and mo most of the hotels have developed fissures. So let's see how the government reacts to it. Because even if uh, the government wants to bring in development, should development be brought in at the cost of people's life? That is a question which has again come to the uh, you know uh, the center light after this kind of uh, a dangerous situation which is right now unfolding in Joshima.